Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will explore PowerShell in Visual Studio 2019. We will look at how we can create a PowerShell project in Visual Studio. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. PowerShell is a cross-platform task automation solution made up of command line shell, a scripting language, and a configuration management framework. PowerShell runs on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So we look at it as a shell. So PowerShell is a modern command shell that includes the, the best features of other popular shells. Unlike most shells that only accept and return test, PowerShell accepts and returns .NET objects, right? So PowerShell also as a scripting language is commonly used for automating the management of systems. It is also used to build, test and deploy solutions, often in CI or CD environments. PowerShell is built on a .NET common language runtime. All input and apps are .NET objects. So enough of all this talking stuff. So before we even go into the Visual Studio, I'm just going to open a very simple PowerShell on, um, on a Windows. So obviously, I'm just going to open the Windows PowerShell. Right, so this is what we have, we've actually got here. So this is your usual Windows PowerShell. Obviously, I'm, I'm sure you know about that. So you can perform like a ping operation and a lot of network stuff, yeah? So you can ping google.com. So as you can see, it was there's something wrong with the host. So we can write it ping www. Dot, uh, google.com yeah so the request could not be because obviously I'm not connected to internet right I'm just gonna connect to internet so now I'm connected to the internet so I'm just gonna I'm gonna, just gonna reping it so as you can see now we, we're getting the um, the ping reply so um, the PowerShell is mostly for doing network administration stuff and other stuff. So this is how we can get started with it. So we open a Visual Studio 2019, right? So we open a blank window. So we come inside the extensions. So we manage, we click on the manage extensions. So once we've got this part here, yeah, here online so we can actually type in PowerShell so let's see what actually comes out yeah so right now we've got PowerShell tools for Visual Studio this is a set of tools for developing and debugging PowerShell scripts and modules in Visual Studio so this is a trial version so as you can see here I've actually installed it already so there's no need for that but if you have it then make sure you actually install install it and you, you make sure you actually close all instances of Visual Studio and restart them to, cap, to to actually get to the next stage. Right? So once you once you've actually sorted that part, then we can actually create a new project. So we click on the start window and create a new project. So as you can see here now, I've actually got a new project dialog here opened. So we can come inside the language side and select um, PowerShell. So we should get the, the, the necessary templates that we can actually get started with. So here, as you can see, we can create a PowerShell module project. We can also create a PowerShell Windows Forms project, which we will look at in the in, in the near future and then we've also got a script project so what we do is we're just going to click on the the partial module project right we click on the next so here obviously you can configure the project details right and then we click on the create so we wait for the 
So with the, with the shell module project, yeah, this is what you actually get, right? So this is for creating a, um, if you look at it, this is the partial to is online. Okay, so this is basically for partial functions, right? And so what we do is just gonna collapse this bit, yeah, and then right click on the solution and then a new project. So now we first we actually selected this bit. So we're going to select the script project, yeah. So here we click on the create as well. So the, this is what we also get for the script project. So here you can you can um you can start writing your power script straight away, right? So you can do something like you can um, actually ping google.com here and you run it. So as you can see here now, we've actually got the ping reply showing on the on the out, output window. But yeah, so there are more like there are more scripts or more examples that we can make we can do. So I'm just gonna make one last example, then we can um, we can just move on. So basically I'm just gonna we're just gonna get the current running process on the window right so this is what we do we get we write get dash process so we get the process as you can see we have the intelligence working fine so put this yeah and then we write get member so we get a member get member and then the out host and then dash paging so yeah so that's what we're going to do so what we do next is just run this to see what actually comes out of it right So as you can see here now, we've got we've got the, the time name and then the, the processes, right? So if you look at it here, you can see all the processes, right? So if we actually copy this this part here, we can actually okay. So I was just gonna print out the same example inside the PowerShell app. But obviously, I, for some reason, I cannot open it. So I'm just going to leave the video here for now. But in the next upcoming videos, we will create a PowerShell application in Windows form. Yeah, so stay tuned. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I hope you do so. Because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.